yeah. Greetings, comrades. I'm giving Caleb back with the first video for Teardown. This is a very fun uh, destruction sandbox game with voxel graphics, as you can see the uh, screens here. And uh, only got like a little over 50 hours total for this game, but this is a really fun game. You know, even though it runs on a, like a slideshow, I'm pretty all different explosions and stuff going on. It's still a fun game. And uh, after playing it through Antaeus, the 4070 and the 7700X, it plays a lot better. There's still a bit of slowdown here and there, but you know, it's kind of be expected, especially when you're blowing a lot of stuff up. And uh, yeah, there is a campaign for this game, but uh, I'm not really going to focus on that in these videos because A, I've already beaten the campaign, and B, um, the real fun comes from sandbox mode. And even more so, with mods. In fact, you can access the different maps, uh, mod maps through here. I got quite a few uh, <laughs> weapon mods here. I was goofing around with some of them earlier, but uh, it's going to turn some of these off so it's not as much to load. But yeah. <laughs> This is a pretty fun uh, destruction sandbox with sort of realistic physics, like when you destroy buildings. Like, they can topple over certain ways, depending on how much it's destroyed, or like if anything's like on fire, or weakening, or anything like that. It's a really... <laughs> it's a really amazing how much destruction you can perform in this game. And of course, uh, that's before you include mods, but... Uh, Let's face it, if you're going to play this game, you might as well get some mods in here. There's quite a few in the workshop, so definitely look around and play around. But, uh, yeah, other videos I'll show off some of the mod maps, but I will show off some, some of the vanilla maps. As well as, uh, do my best to explain the mechanics of this game. Which it has been a while since I've uh, played the campaign, but you do get a few tools to, like uh, get stuff done. Have a little sledgehammer, which uh, use for destroying like uh, weaker things like wood and stuff. You also got a spray can, which you use to mark like points of interest or like areas for destruction and stuff. An extinguisher, which, uh, yeah, fire spreads in this game. Especially with mods, it spreads fast, so... If there's something you don't want destroyed, at least not yet, you can use this. Hands, which... Yeah. Blowtorch. torch. what this does. Of course, it torches stuff. Yeah, you know, playing switch. I guess this is used for like uh only parts of buildings again in case you want to get destroyed like a certain part of a structure. This is made for like missions and stuff. Me, I forgot I even had it. Got a kill which I'm assuming he's used to wire explosives and stuff. You do have access to guns, which uh get the job done. Oh, it blew up there. Yeah, there's a plain gun. This is a pistol. Hunting rifle. Sniping stuff. Yeah, this is a mob gun. Of course, it's not a demolition game without explosives. You got pipe bombs, regular time bombs, and of course, rocket launcher with effective explosives. And nitroglycerin, which is pretty much use this to time to destroy like bigger buildings. You just use those pistols. Do that. That's boosters, thrusters, and blue tide. 
This plays a little bit of a role in the story. It's basically an energy drink. <clears throat> but of course, the real fun comes from the mods. Got quite a selection here. One of my favorites is this thermite cannon, which is really useful for spreading fire. Like, really fast. I want to make sure you have a pretty powerful computer because the more stuff you destroy, the more things are on fire and stuff, the slower things get. Like I said, you need a We'll show off the uh, physics a little bit. There's a little pipe here. If I oh, it's already losing structure a little bit. Okay, there's a plasma incinerator. Port. And also. Flamethrower. And when you use them both together. Another incinerator. This is what you start to fire from a distance, but uh, this is more fun. Do this little electricity like, tower here. Move a bit old top of the kinda. Let's see if we can fix that. Game. Like every every now and then, just fire this game, just blow up a random map, and just destroy stuff. Let's be uh, awaken my inner arsonist without the video. Okay, oh, airstrike. Well, it's more an AC 130. The more debris on the ground, the more fires there are, again, the slower it gets. It really depends what kind of map you're on. If it's like a smaller map, no problem. If it's like a, sort of a big map like this, or even bigger, then, you know, start running the slower down.
helps other people, yeah. You could argue the slowdown is part of the charm. That building's still standing. If I said the, uh, these are semi-realistic, like, normally a building like this will be toppling over in its own weight. But you have to, like, completely sever the foundation. Like, there's even one little stick holding this up. It'll stand up. Vengeance katana. Yeah, Raiden, right, let me borrow it real quick. Okay, let's go into a different map. Wait, remember this map sold out a lot more Proteus. Hope it won't be the case here. All the incense in the room. Get a little incense uh sampler pack from Earthbound. Quite a few cents. I only did a few of them so far. I'm still a black hole. Just, uh... Yep. Only in tear down. I think they knew it was still nearly half of the map. Jesus. There used to be a mall here. Yeah, but there used to be a lot of stuff here. Now it's like gone. Get a better view of the map. I see all this is about to disappear in a few minutes. Not for another black hole, mind you. Ooh, ion cannon. This. Ion cannon beacon deployed. Warning: Ion cannon satellite approaching. You have ten seconds to reach minimum safe distance. Again, there used to be a shop here. 
And those demolition teams, they don't screw around, do they? Apparently this device, I can set things remotely on fire. Normally in the campaign you have set objectives and like there's some missions where like don't destroy a certain number of things where you can head out. But uh, in sandbox the sky's the limit. That's why I play skybox more. Or sound sandbox. I always said skybox. Another mob weapon will super mini game. Character race is anything. So much destruction. Uh, let's do one more map. Uh, let's go to an island. Right, this is where the fire spread really shines. Get my little thermite cannon. Fire spreads pretty easily. If like a piece of ember falls on a flammable object, it will also catch fire. And don't do this with Predator. Nice, but uh, stuff happens a lot more. Ooh. Burn to a cinder.
Come on, topple over. There we go, spread the love. It kind of is. Yeah, I'm looking forward to making more videos for Teardown, because they're... Like I said, so all for your destructive tendencies. There aren't too many games out there that give you this level of destruction. Except maybe the earlier Battlefield games. Still quieter than Proteus's fans. By the way, that uh, HT the HTPC setup coming soon. Still got a few more parts to come in. Already got the case. Already saw that. Still waiting for those 80 millimeter fans. I'm ordering a different set. Those beat quiet ones never showed up, so I canceled that. And I ordered a different set of fans. Everything else almost put together. So yeah, this is Teardown, comrade. I'm looking forward to showing off some more mods and stuff for this game. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, this is I'm giving Caleb sunny out. So have a good day. Suck it up, life's tough, we know that Someone's got better stuff and can throw cash Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path I don't need no handouts, so I'm my own man Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it in fast, yeah Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bad, yeah Man, I only get down with the best, uh I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh